Alright. Well, I'm actually going to place an ad today so you can see what I do. And then I'll show you some back end stuff on Facebook as well. Um, I'm assuming we all have Facebook ads running. Um, Define ads. Huh? I mean, at Facebook. We have Facebook running. Oh, yeah. Um, as you can see over here on my right side, it actually keeps track of my ads. I'm on my personal Facebook, so I can see what's up and running and what's going on those, with those ads. Um, that's an old one. This is my current one running through, which is actually an ad boost, which basically is boosting a particular post. But you can only do this from a business page. It cannot be done from a personal Facebook account, so you still need a business page for this to run. So let's go in here and let's go ahead and add an ad. We go over here and click on Ads Manager. Everything will pull up. You can see I've run a few. I've been running a few ads. Um, and as you can also see, we're going to now click on Create Ad. Does everybody in here have a business page? I know they do. We'll have to get you a business page then. You definitely want to have a business page um, because you're not going to be able to do anything. Because what you're going to do is, I've noticed I've gotten likes out of it. Uh, they may not necessarily click to do, want to have an analysis or click anything, but they'll like my page. Um, so it's just one more update and contact you keep in your system. We are going to do a click to the website. Um, these other ones, you can do page likes if you're trying to boost that. Um, page um, post engagement, that's kind of like what your boost would be. It's basically trying to get the same concept, getting people to click on your, to go through. But we just want the basic clicks to website. That's what we're trying to get to do. So if we click on clicks to website, you can see I have a few already set up in here. So it's already had this in here, so I click this one. So this is actually coming directly from my eEdge website. That's not good. No. I gotta get that fixed. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Let's ignore that that's expired. <laughs> uh, so I'm just gonna use my alt to alt in real quick. Sorry about that. They did not send me an email. No, that did happen to me, and now some agent in California, SherryHoward.com. They usually give you a, right, a certain period mm -hmm. where you can still... Well, if you set it up, yeah. but it's like that if you didn't get one, too. But that yeah. stupid-ass Jill is the one that said that. I never told me. Yeah, I, I, this was supposed to be an auto-renew. Yeah, that's what we've got most of ours on. Yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah. So I'm going to go to the landing pages. This is my L2L account, which is listing the leads, which gives you custom landing pages, um, property valuation, what you're on more with, all kinds of just different pages to work with. Let's just do Johnson County. What it'll do is it'll pull a picture in here automatically. Delete that picture. You don't want to use it. There's no point in using that picture. You want to upload, and you can do up to six photos. Um, 
I've already kind of figured out which photo gets me the best pics, so I'm only put one up there at a time. But do you guys, since you do it, do you put multiple pictures up? I just put one. Um, I would recommend putting six up there and seeing what picture is actually going to, is getting the most hit clicks. Okay, my question is, because I had one and then I deleted it and we did it, because the, the ad itself didn't mention Keller Williams. You don't need to mention that Keller Williams. On Facebook ads? You know that for a fact. It clicks through. As long as the website it clicks through to has your branding on it. But the ad that they see... I did not see anything. Well, <laughs> technically mine does because at the top it says um, High Performance Real Estate Dash Keller Williams Realty. Mm -hmm. So my business page already has a Keller Williams at least named in it. Oh, well, our space looks more how we So as long as they click through, they really haven't made a thing with this yet. They click through, when they click to go to your website though, or if they go to your business page, they're going to see Keller Williams, right? Mm -hmm. I'm assuming they're going to well, see Well, when they go to the landing page, that I was sending them to, mm -hmm. that at the very top has Keller Williams in the Crown Keller Group. Okay, yeah. As long as what I've, we've, the understanding of what we've seen is as long as they click through to the next point, is at least dealing with Facebook, um, is that as long as it goes to the page. Because, like with properties, when people put their houses, let's put their houses on the MLS or on, the, on Facebook and try to market them that way. Mm -hmm. What you'll see is there's really you don't see branding on it mm -hmm. usually typically, but when you click on it, you then see right. who the branding is, right. and that's really where if they click, then you see at that point. That's kind of what we've been seeing. Because like my original ad before I changed it, it was just like a button that says what's my homework. Yeah, that's okay. But it had, didn't mention anything about Keller Williams until they clicked on it. Yeah. The learn more tab. And that's what that's what you want. That's fine. I don't want to change Like I find this picture right here gets me the most. It's always got me clicks. Really? I've had pictures of the Johnson County sites and different areas in Greenwood or Franklin, depending where I'm marketing. A plain picture of a house that looks good is what gets me the most clicks. Although I think I'm wearing the picture out because I'm <laughs> starting to see a little. <coughs> And then now, see, I got a check mark so the picture will display just fine. If you scroll down here, you see it shows the picture, what the house will look like. I don't really like the way that looks because it seems off centered and I want to see more of the yard. So if you hit reposition images, now you can click and drag it where you want to, where you want that picture to sit a little bit better. Now for me. That's a better looking picture if I see yard. Yeah. And if you click here, you can see what your mobile news feeds. And I've actually noticed I get more hits on mobile phones than I do anything else. Desktop is very rare. It's mobile phones. I see a lot of my clicks come through. And then the right column ad. So you're putting all these different positions to have your ad run up and running. But that's all fine and dandy. You need to get someone to click on it. So. Um, you can use the same, I don't know if you guys use a custom message at the top or not, or contact us, but up here you can actually put a put what you want to have a say. So I'm just going to leave, I really don't like that because it's not really, it's not an appraisal, which is yeah. what lending institutions get. I'm not giving them that. Um, find out your home's value and then up here you only put so many things and you only allow so many characters I want
Mm-hmm. Trying to get transaction because you need one people to click on it. It doesn't work if they don't click. So it's home value analysis. Um, normally if I was like Greenwood or Franklin, I'd put Franklin home value analysis or something. Um, so that's pretty much all that's it right there. So now we just keep scrolling down. Here's where we can define our market. And you can get very specific on what you want to look at here and who you want to target. I want to target basically Johnson County. So I'm just going to, I just put certain zips. Johnson County no is more or less the areas I want to focus on the target. So here's kind of just the basics. I think Edinburgh is 46124. I can tell you. <laughs> Edinburgh, all right. Okay, we don't do Edinburgh. All right. I, I don't do much in there, but <laughs> um, I find the agents that are usually down in Edinburgh seem to have that market pretty well. It's kind of a small town. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want 13 year olds getting this ad. It's a waste of time to have a 13 year old pick on my ad. So I usually try to do probably about 22 or so. They're at least getting out of college, maybe they might be in there. I the doubt they have a home to sell, but I'm helping some 26 year olds right now, so it's possible. Um, if you want to have a specific language, here's all the demographics that you can pull in. I don't use these demographics for this purpose. Because the people still have to have indicated it on their Facebook page, if they didn't indicate on their Facebook page, you're not going to know it. So I just don't go for their demographics. I just stick with the age and go for that. And as you can see right now, my potential reach is 50,000 people. Um, now here's where it gets tricky is on pricing. Make sure I put a limit, a lifetime budget of what I want to run. I don't put a daily budget. Put a lifetime budget, you know where you're going to cap and be done. Mm -hmm. So they've actually changed this a little bit now. So we're going to schedule for seven days, you know, 25 bucks. Actually, I don't show the best options. They've changed this, haven't they? That's what it was when I said it out. It's like this? Mm -hmm. This is new. I used to be able to go through and click, like, I just want to run for the weekend. I just want to run a Thursday, Friday, well, Saturday, I, Sunday. Other gives you the. Other, thank you. There's normally it just shows it to me. Um, so lifetime budget. It's fine. So we're going to start it today. I usually have it run till let's say 13th. I'm in July. That's why. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where'd it go? There we go. I usually run from about four o'clock. Uh, well, actually, I like 7 o'clock better. And you know that's California time. Did it change on me again? Mm -hmm. Where's that at? I just saw it somewhere. So, because I originally had mine starting at 7 p.m., thinking that it was getting them home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, somewhere it said all times are Pacific time. Well, we'll just keep 4 o'clock then. It sounds good. Yeah. Um, yeah, it says America, New York. That's the time. Which, New York, that's our time. Right, but when you go to another page, when you, I think when you go to the Democrat where it shows you your results, okay. I think that's where it's Oh, at. where it tracks the times. They're all tracked. Right. Okay. Um, so we're going to spend $25 to run this ad. Not much. You can run it. Other, let's say you just want to run a $5 ad. If you just want to run 5 bucks, well, no, it's going to be a dollar a day. That's fine. So you can run a $5 ad if you wanted to, too. So you can be as cheap or go as big as you want. I like $20 weekend ads, doesn't cost much, and I tend to will probably get six or seven seller leads off of it that I can drop in a campaign. Yeah. That's why it's the cheapest lead you're, you're yeah. going to actually pay for. It. Right. Um, now conversion, we're still working on conversion. We're going to bid for clicks. I don't know what you guys do. Do you guys just do the automatic optimize? Well, the, the video I was watching said to do it, set it manually. Okay. Um, so that way you know you can set your own, and then it pretty much changes it and gives you an average. I don't understand the difference between the two of them. I always was just an automatic optimize because my goal is I, your clicks are still going to cost money no matter how you look at it. I'm only running for these certain amount of days. Okay. 
So I'm just looking for the most clicks I can get. And okay. even if 100 people click on it, it doesn't matter. It's just dropping the cost. Okay. Okay. So it comes down to more or less impressions is where you're going to run into that on. So I do the bid for clicks, lifetime budget, $20. They'll run June 13th to June 16th. And this is where you got to have your credit card already in here. If not, they'll ask you for credit card information. They've memorized me. <laughs> now, your ad doesn't go live right away. Obviously, we put a thing. They have to approve your ad um, as well. So at 4 o'clock, my ad should go live. And now you're wondering, OK, that's great. My ad's going. How do I know what's happening with my ad? So if we click on. Go back here to your Facebook. Sean is still top of the news feed. So right here, this is the current ad I have running. I mean, you can break it pretty far down, but this shows the hits, people that have actually clicked on your website. Plus, so this is actually for post engagement, but they still have to click on it. And that's kind of what's going on there. But if you hit View Report. This is where you're taking kind of to the next level. That's actually compile it. Or internet go down. The bars are kind of low down. As you can see, so here's the ads I have running. If you look at what's running, look at my number one placement, mobile desktop. But where else can I hit? I have this is a $20 ad that I have running for a longer period of time. Where else can I get that many impressions at this low of cost? Mm -hmm. And really target who I'm and target who I'm looking at. And actually I can then at that point. This is my reach, these are my impressions. 36 clicks, 31 unique clicks. These are p different people clicking on it at that point. They're, they haven't clicked on the ad before. Because the way, way unique with track it is, if the ad's running and the same person keeps clicking it, they're no longer a unique click. It's only their initial first click is the unique one. After that, then it becomes, so I can tell what, four people roughly, or someone has clicked it more than once. They really like the house. Um, but 34 clicks have come from my mobile device. And then one off the right column. But if you notice my newsfeed, I don't get anything really off the newsfeed. It's the other, it's the mobile devices and desktop um, column, which is that right column that sits over here. And then the home page. But you can track how much per impression. You need click-through rates, how much that average on that device is costing me, the average cost for that many impressions, cost per thousand, cost per click. This is why I just let them optimize it, because it, it kind of shifts a little bit. If only one person clicks on my ad, I just pay 20 bucks for one click. It doesn't matter how you, how you do the math. That's what's going to happen. Um, so there's really it's the impressions that you're kind of getting, and you need them to click on those. Now, I'm going to go to my business page so you can see the new, I don't know if you've transformed over the new business page or not, but it kind of, so this week, last week I had five new page likes and that was all from Rads. This week I've already had two, two I don't know when it resets, um, but I've reached 5,000 people so far this week. It's a pretty good reach. Um, and then to keep getting people to like my page. So I know I'm only 133 likes. Yes, that's Mr. Bean. I'm a big fan of Mr. Bean. Um, you have to watch that video at some point too. It's pretty hilarious. So that's pretty much how that part of it works. Now, let's say you want to boost a page. Can I ask a quick question? How, how is it that you have the post reach of 5,100 people, even though you only have so many likes? Or am I, I'm missing something? Because it's paid advertising. Okay, so, so paid I'm, advertising is included. 
the reach, the basically like a post reach, let's say click, let's go down, that one doesn't have much reach. Um, that one will have boosted. But look at this, this, this ad right here, isn't that a great picture? Um, it's being creative in your marketing. That house had a great backyard. I'm like, check, you couldn't have a better view than this in the city on top of it. So we can right here see that organic is 113, which is basically people come off of, that's like my page, or share it. It's come organic, it's just from me doing it. Versus paid is that I paid for this ad to be boosted. So now I've reached another 17, almost 1,800 people and just paid boosting gotcha. that I've reached. So that's kind of where that is. And every time someone likes your post, that's the key is getting people to like your post. It then shows up in other people's news feeds that they liked it. And that's how you can start getting things to boost up organically at that point and not have to pay for it. Um, that one got a good reach and that was an unpaid reach. So, but business page is the way you definitely get that up and running and get that going. Um, boost a page. So we have this right here, just list in Plainfield. Where's that at in Plainfield though? <laughs> Plainfield Walker. It's right by the high school. Oh, okay. It's almost by the high school. It's in um, uh, Hawthorne Ridge. Okay. It's 280. Yeah. Um, Not your buyer. <laughs> um, he went through and put some serious money if he had renters in it. Yeah. But it's four over four thousand square feet with the basement. It's a big house. So right here we see boost post. There we go. Now here's I usually will go to more options. I don't want I want to have control. So as we can see, I want to set a max budget, um, $5 is going to be a cheap one on this one. People who like your page and their friends. So basically, I'm going to target the people of, of friends. Um, or you click on this one, people you choose through mar target marketing. This thing goes back to that same concept where you can choose who you want. Now, if you want to go out there and start... Um, you can target the United States if you want. I don't know if I would do that unless you're trying to get referral business at that point. So I usually unclick that and let's just target the United States. Plainfield. It is. There it's been. Yeah, I found that's how I, I can find it that way too. Okay. Yeah, because uh How did you find it? I tried to type in Greenwood. That's what I did, but it didn't find Greenwood in the end. Yeah, do you know Greenwood is right there? Yeah. It's there, yeah. It's yeah, it's so I kept Xing it out and I was putting it in. Oh. Hmm. So we're gonna do plus five miles. If you really want to say just painful owners. You can say not, you don't want that, but I put plus five miles or just to get a little bit outside the skirts a little bit. Um, we're just going to boost this post. Let's just do a one day boost. Um, boost post. There we go. That's how easy it is to boost a quick post. So, like, if you just list a property and you want to do that, definitely boost it. Um, Sellers seem to like it, I think, because it always comes up. I ran into a seller the other day, and they were like, you got a lot of stuff going on. It's like, I keep seeing, well, even Dennis, I, I kept seeing your ad come up in the news Facebook feed. Because he lives in Greenwood, so he kept seeing my ad come up. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting there. Um, now you're probably thinking, well, what else can we do with just besides just house stuff? You can do recruiting with this as well. You can actually go through and target if you want to target realtors. Or if you want to target people who want to think about getting a career in real estate and link them back to a landing page so that way we can possibly bring them on and start building down line as well. So there's definitely some options that can be done with the boost side of it. Um, any questions on kind of what I went over? Well, there's a lot of information. 
Okay, so to get to the ads, where do I go again? I'm sorry, I'm just... Okay, I need to go back over here. Mm -hmm. See, these are my actual ads. You can see that one's still in review. That's the one I just did. Uh, that's the boost. Is this uh, your personal page, or is it... This is my personal page. Okay, so it yeah. shows up on the personal Yeah, if you have on your personal on page, what I'll do is it'll show up over here. Okay. It'll have your ads showing. Um, so you can kind of see what's running. I can see 34 posts, how much I paid. This ad's completed. This one's going to start today. Um, that one's in review, so as soon as it's approved, it'll start running. And then over here, over we'll click on Ads Manager. That's where you can go in there and start creating your ad okay. and really getting everything kind of up and running. Just, you know, when I first started looking, because I looked at this probably about two years ago, wanting to start doing this, and I just never did. It was kind of, I don't know, new territory. I wasn't sure what I was doing. That's um, what I did this week. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to try this. <laughs> so, and I haven't had bad luck with it. It's been pretty, pretty easy going. It doesn't cost as much to, to do as what I was thinking. I thought I had to do a ton of, you know, it cost me 200 bucks to really get anything. And it's, you can run a $20 ad and you can get people to start um, going a little bit further with it. So, um, since I've been running, I've probably got about 15 new likes on my page <coughs> from people I don't know. I have no clue who they are. They just saw the page in the news feed and hit the little like button. So, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the Indian Homes, the one um, for foreclosures. They're getting a ton of likes. I think it's a remax. Mm -hmm. But they're getting likes like crazy because of, and it all depends on what you want to target. If you want to target um, buyers or with the whole closure thing you can mm -hmm. if you want to target just sellers if you want to target sellers just in a specific neighborhood you can really narrow down really what you're doing I would say a little bit more like the Greenwood Franklin or if you want to do Franklin Township you just put the four six two, two three nine and two three seven I think mm -hmm. not sure. so for example if you want to just target sellers in a particular area what would you do what I do okay. I would um, find out what your home's worth. It's pretty much, that's why we're going to get sellers. Um, now, if you have some unique information, you really want to push it out there and make you the foremost expert. If you do a video, you do a video, it boosts your video. Yeah, I would never do a video. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And you said, Check if it's not your thing, don't yeah. do them. Because <laughs> people's not going to like them. And I mean, from the, the Keller Williams side, um, from an office standpoint, when we recruit a new agent, they from our business page could take a picture and boost that post. So now you're getting it spread a little bit farther around. They've joined Keller Williams. Mm -hmm. So that's another way to push. You know, I know they do the email. I think David knew or somebody. I think I saw something stupid else. Someone just joined. <laughs> joined. Um, but honestly, how many people look at those emails versus if you guys scrolling through your newsfeed, it pops up. A, I know about you, I, I probably see look at my Facebook. It, it's running all the time for me. It's always in my background going. Um, now, this is somewhat unrelated. I see that you have a lots, lots of groups on the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. When someone actually views your page, are they seeing all the groups that you belong to? or no? They will know what groups I'm a part of. But as far as going, um, that's a weird picture I just stopped on. So it's mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, I think that's her baby, actually. But, um, they can, when you go to someone's page, let's go to Shauna's page. Mm -hmm. There's a spot where I can see there's her places, sports, there's movies, TV shows, books, apps, and all of her likes. So, anything that she's liked, and then down here's groups. So I know what she's liked and know her groups are. Gotcha. Now, what you saw on my page, this, you know, this is my personal page. Uh -huh. um, my business page doesn't have all those on it. Because usually you work with other businesses kind of on this situation in, in this area. Now, I've liked other businesses in relation with this, um, like, like, by, like by this page. You know, of course, car and driver. We always have that on every one of the pages. Um, 
you know, certain things, Indianapolis Coles, Top Gear, because those are my interests, so I have them associated with my business page. Gotcha. Uh, my church, a small bit, small local business. Um, Imagination Station, again, another small local business. Jay's moving, great for. But then when you're doing ads, when it says interests, that's who it targets. It's going to start looking for, for stuff like that. Interest that you have. If I list the Indianapolis code, Colts is an interest, that would. It might that, start targeting anything that's Colts right. related, yep. Right. And on your personal page, how do you have your, your privacy settings set up? Because I don't have mine I don't have public. Any. Mine's public. Okay. I mean, I'm, they, I'm full disclosure. It's. Yeah, I, it's, I, uh, I go back and forth on it, what I'm going to do with my with the personal page. Um, I try to post business on if I don't have to, which is why I move more towards the ads. Mm -hmm. um, I'll post personal. Basically the, basically, the only business I really post on my personal page now is I just listed this house tonight. Information coming soon. Basically by the next day it'll be in the system. But I picture the sign with the house, and that's pretty much all I do on my personal page. Mm -hmm. I don't do much business. If I want to do an open house, I'll boost, I'll boost an open house from my Facebook. I'll probably get more interest from that than doing my personal page. Yeah, we don't, yeah, we don't post a lot of business on our personal pages either, but I was just curious, because I kind of go back and forth too with privacy settings. I do. I just keep it public. You know, my biggest thing is I don't have a lot to hide. I, I don't have, I guess, weird interest or anything. Yeah. I'm not like out there. <laughs> Because um, <laughs> um, some people, I'm like, hmm. um, but no, I think it all depends on what level of information you're actually putting on your personal site. Um, I put, like I have three teenage girls, so my husband doesn't want any pictures of them or try to do minimal that's yeah. public for them. In that situation, know. like if you have kids or something, or I do all my kids are friends and yeah, so is yours public or private? You know. Because I was using it for kind of a business ad at one point, so I wanted it to where people could find me. So I want my clients to still be able to find me. Because, you know, you become friends with your clients at a personal level a lot of times. So. Well, it's, well, I logged on to another Facebook just to go in to see how mine looks to mm -hmm. somebody. And even though it's set up as private, you can still see like four or five different pictures. Yeah. But if you want to see more, you got to ask me, my friend. Yeah, I have. Basically, if you clicked on my name or Google me, this is what you'd see. Um, oh yeah, she put she tagged me in that post, so it shows up on my newsfeed. So if you have people tagging you in some weird, I have friends I probably went for. I'm pretty sure I went for them because I don't agree with some of the stuff they say. If you have them starting to tag your information, then you might want to go private at that point or defriend them. I just don't have to approve tags. Tag me on um, Anybody can tag me. My wife is one of seven. I'm getting tagged all the time. It's so, <laughs> in, in different random pictures. That's a funny clip. I don't know about if you guys are fan of LeBron James or not. But yeah. It's a very funny, funny little video. So this is basically my personal, you know, if you go to my personal, it's more or less about, um, you know, like this is like just listed. That's about as business as I get. Um, that one was that the night before. But it's my kids playing in the sandbox. I keep it very, it's just family. Um, and then my business coaches challenge me, which I did not reach my goal of 10, 10. So I got hundred bucks. Now, what kind of questions do we have? Okay. Is there anything that you wanted to see maybe a little bit more covered on? Or is it pretty much kind of... I think just getting started in it. Yeah, we need to go do something. I think the biggest thing is what you need to do is once you acquire them, to get their information, you need to put them in a campaign got to get them going to something. If you don't have them running in something, mm -hmm. you just pay for it. I think it's not going to go anywhere. Well, we've had people click on the ad, but I haven't had anybody actually fill out the form for a market analysis. I have. Um, it's tricky. Which I find I'll get a lot of addresses, and then I won't get any names. 
because there's with L2L you have two types. You can do a, a two pager, which they put their address in, and the next page takes them to their uh, name and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the next, the one before that, um, is the one page where it puts their everything all on the same page. That I don't have as much. I tend to do better with the two pager. I think. I think that's once because the phone number is not listed on the first page. It's the second. The second page, because well, with the two page, you'll still at least get their address. Right. They'll always put their address in. And then at that point, if you want to mail them one or drop off to the door, say, here, here's your market analysis. You know, you can do that, and then you get that personal touch at that point. So you can still utilize and take care but of it. But I them. haven't got any notification that anybody's even put in an address. Okay. When did you start burning it? Yeah, we just started it. We started it on Tuesday. Okay. Um, and it's reached, like, over 4,000 something. I have checked it in. Okay. Um, one thing I want to do is sit down and see if we can tweak. It, it comes down to the photo. Well, I'm going to go back and change it to that button versus yeah. what I changed to because I thought I had to have color wings on the ad. I got no clicks when I had KW up Okay, there. so I'm going to change that and um, change the performance thing mm -hmm. instead of setting the like my own amount, let it do it. Because right now, this is the web people should be going to when they go to click on mine. This right, is another right. version of what right. you can do. Um, now, there's another, right. do you see the other kind that they have too, though? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because there's that one, but now you see, you don't see very big bits there. Keller Williams. Um, mm -hmm. Then Keller Williams. So, I mean, it, it's, as long as when they mm -hmm. click through this point, they got they see that you're branded with Keller Williams. Okay. Um, they really, you're still living on Facebook. They talked about with the Facebook and Twitter and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You're already living on really what you can put in there. Mm -hmm. So that's why they really haven't regulated it yet. On your um, on your ads, do you use the learn more button? So go back to your ad that brought this up. Um, that's one of my campaigns. Campaigns. This is that's the post. So what this ad will look like when I get to it, it looks like that. So what are they clicking on the just the picture? They click on the picture, yeah. Probably getting a lot because people are think they're going to see inside pictures of it. <laughs> and, uh, Go with what works. Exactly. <laughs> if yeah. I get them there. Okay. Um, I don't. Um, so what I need to take off is the learn more, so they click on the little button. And what you, what I would recommend is put if you have some nice home shots mm -hmm. or something kind of creative, put those on there. Mm -hmm. and if you want to have your branding, take the picture like this, put the KW logo right there. Mm -hmm. That's not going to probably hinder someone from clicking on it. Um, and then that way, if you feel more comfortable with having the K, the branding there, you can do that. Or even put your own logo there that you have there. Cause you guys have your a logo, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, you can put your logo on that picture. I think Remax does it. Um, there's a guy, I forget which one he is, the Indie Home Pros. Um, it's the black and white one, that's why I can't remember it. And it has a guy go like this. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you put, like, maybe, I'm pointing to my screen, maybe on it, put your your um, actual logo, like, here or something in a spot, and then put the color Williams, like, down here. Mm -hmm. Then at least that way you have some branding going out. That way. The key part of it is when people go or drive around town, I don't know if you guys have done Hobbs Herder at all, but it's all about the image of branding. So if they keep seeing your logo here popping up, all of a sudden when they see your sign, they think they've seen you everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's really what it comes down to. So, um, but don't use a photo of yourself either. I yeah. tried several photos. I tried either myself, I tried the KW, I tried a couple different house looks. Um, this was the photo. So if you put six pictures in there, I'll tell you which one people are clicking on. I kept never get clicks on anything else but this picture. Hmm. So that's why I'm running with it. So. Okay. All, All right. right. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Second. Uh, uh, this is yeah. Okay. We can certainly take care of that. For you. <laughs> I'm brand new. Okay. Out of the gate. So. All right. Yeah, we can um, take care of that. So we'll um, probably stop recording so that way I can. I don't think we need any that part of it anymore, but um, yeah, we can get you a, a business page set up, and that's pretty.
Oh, all right. Quick question for you. I have a couple agents that have a business page set up, but they say that they're not generating any traffic from it to their feet edge. Are there certain things that I should look for? Is it is it all about making your posts interesting, probably? But is there something mechanically that they're missing, maybe? Are they trying to, are they running? Okay, so they have a business page. Or should I send those people to you just to take a quick look, see at what they've got and what they're doing to give them a couple tips on? Well, you can have a business page and get zero traffic to it. Mm -hmm. uh, that's going to come down to inviting friends. Like if you go, if I go to my business page right now. Yeah. And what it's going to do. Liked it. Basically, it's something called build audience. You've got to build your audience. Okay. Um, if you click on that, you can invite your friends. So okay. friends that you're currently with, you can do. Okay. You can import contacts in if you wanted to, and they'll try to sync them up and find them if they have a Facebook page. Okay. Um, or you can promote your page okay. just to get likes. Now here's a question: If they are part of groups, is there any way to invite people from groups? No, I can't get their information. All right. So we, could, if I could import group contacts, that would be amazing. Yes, but I can't import. I can import my face, my personal Facebook friends contact information. Okay. But I cannot get groups. But as far as groups, the only thing you can do is post within the group. So if you have like an ad or something that you want to run, you can take like with what I'm having running on one of my, like this boost page right here. Yeah. I've already reached 33 people with that ad since I boosted it. Now how does it know it reached 33 people? What they do is when they classify reaching, it has come up on someone's news feed. That's your impressions. Okay. And then reached is, it actually somehow came up on their screen. So it's basically in their news feed somewhere. Okay, and they've scrolled over it and that's considered a reach? Yeah. Okay. Some, some mathematical equation that it picks up on. Mm -hmm. um, and then engagement, is, let's say engagement would be someone actually clicking on the picture. That's when you know that you've now engaged them. Gotcha. Or um, for like, but this is considered an engagement, so it's trying to get people to click on it. Um, so it's really, um, but in order for someone to actually build the last on the page, they need to do, they need to invite their friends first. Okay. And ask their friends to share. It's like, hey, if they're new to real estate or something, I'm new to real estate, I'm trying to build my business page, that way I can keep business and personal separate. Will you please share my page for those that want to have interest? And post stuff of content and um, that they would want to see. Um, you know, don't keep some people annoy the crap out of me, honestly, with what they post. Mm -hmm. um, it just annoys me. And then people that post too much business on their personal. So, um, like this, this is just a fun little thing with, with Mr. Bean. Yeah. I thought it was cute, funny, but yet we've all been around there trying to use our hands like this to measure something. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I found it hilarious. Uh, my dad and I were big fans of Mr. Bean. That's funny. Well, that answers my question, so thank you very much. No, I don't know. I stop button.